season is here in Arkansas. When people move here, they know that too. However, when they look for a home with a basement, there are little to be found. Why is that? In tonight's Alerting Arkansas, meteorologist Zach Scott investigates. That rotation looks like it's starting to strengthen now just south of Fayetteville. Hey, this is your time to take shelter before it gets to your area. It's maybe some small hill up to the size of quarters with that one. Alerting Arkansas, sponsored by American Storm Shelters and McClarty Daniel. Take a look at this map. It shows the most commonly used foundation type by state. We're talking basements, crawl space, or slabs. During a tornado, much of the country is told to get to the basement. However, most of us in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, we don't have basements. Why? We get a lot of people coming in from that I deal with clients that aren't from, they're not Arkansans yet. It's one of the questions I get a lot asked is, hey, why, why aren't there any basements? We spoke with Mark Phillips, owner of Mark Phillips Construction, to give us some clarity on why we aren't building homes with them. Most of it comes down to our soil and costs. Our soil is wetter and we live in a more humid climate. Because of the red dirt that we build on, the waterproofing of a basement, as you know, is very important. You've always heard the leaky basement. Plus, many of us in Arkansas live on the Ozark Plateau, bringing even more costly challenges. And when you start digging around the side of these mountains and stuff, you just never know what you get into kind of limestone. And, and then you're into geotechnical guys coming out, doing reports, testing the soil, and then finding out that you've got, you know, $15,000, $20,000 of added expense to dynamite a certain rock out of the way so you can dig your basement out. It, it just, it gets expensive. It can be a difference of a, of, of a slab on grade foundation. So that foundation cost could be, you know, half of what it's gonna be for that basement. Since basements aren't common here, what are local builders doing to help provide a safe place for us to go during a storm? I do a lot of storm shelters for folks uh, that are freestanding. Uh, I've, I've built them inside the homes. I've built them there. I've got some that we'll put inside of garages that just uh, fix to the floor. And they're, you know, they're, they're tested against F5 type winds. During the build process, you can incorporate a storm shelter and make it look as if it's just another small room or have it installed in the garage. You can even put it outside anywhere on your lot. Some clients ask to tornado proof a room with concrete walls and a concrete top, but it can be very costly and not as effective as a storm shelter. I've also done poured concrete walls on a slab house and done uh, and, and poured a, 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 a concrete top to it, you know, and so even that versus doing the freestanding ones uh, is a more expensive process. That's more of a peace of mind for them. It's not necessarily structurally going to do much. As long as you have some space in the garage or in the ground, a storm shelter could be a great safety investment for you and your family. With 5 News and finding out why you won't find many basements around here, I'm meteorologist Zach Scott. This whole week, your 5 News weather team has been alerting Arkansas to keep you ahead of the storms that will arrive this spring. Our team is ready. And now you are too. If you want to rewatch any of this week's episodes, they are available on our 5 News YouTube channel. All right, let's chat with Matt now about the weather that's coming in this weekend. Thankfully, hopefully nothing that severe, but obviously it's good to be prepared and make sure you have that tornado safety plan in mind. Exactly. Good time to practice it now. I will say this event that's coming up, is very weak. So that's good okay. news for us. But we're at the start of severe weather season. Right. We're just starting, right?